Chaka likes to read fairy tales before she goes to sleep. Why don't we join Chaka for her wonderful journey? Sleeping Beauty A long, long time ago, in a beautiful and peaceful kingdom, was born a pretty little princess. The king and the queen were overjoyed at her birth, so they invited all the people of the land to a party. Dear little princess, grow as a kind and gracious lady. Sweet little princess, grow as a cheery and healthy lady. Lovely little princess, grow as a bright and smart lady. Well, what's all this? You're having a party without me? The Great Witch of the Forest? How dare you not invite me? Oh, this must be the newborn princess. Then I, too, shall bestow a blessing on the baby. Dear sweet little princess, you shall indeed grow as the fairies blessed. But on your 18th birthday, you shall prick your finger on a sewing needle and die! <laughs> now I shall be off! Farewell! What are we going to do? The witch has cursed her! Pretty baby princess, I can't undo the witch's curse, but I can change it. You may be pricking your finger on a sewing needle at 18 years old, but you shall not die. You shall instead fall into a deep sleep. Oh, and don't worry. You shall be awakened with a true love's kiss. Though the last fairy could change the witch's curse, the king and the queen were worried that their baby girl would prick her finger and fall into sleep forever. Listen! Toss out all the spinning wheels in the palace at once. And also, never allow the princess to leave the palace grounds. She must not leave and get herself pricked out there. Under the protection of the king and queen, the princess grew up safely, and she grew into a beautiful young woman. But having spent all her life in the palace, she wanted a change. Instead of drawing or studying music in her room, she wanted to go horseback riding or practice martial arts. Magnificent princess, I have nothing more to teach you. No one in this kingdom can compete with you in archery and horseback riding now. Oh, it's all no use. I cannot even set one foot outside of this palace. There are endless green fields and the blue sea out there. <sighs> when will I get to see them? I feel like I'm locked up in a prison. My life is always the same I need a change But I cannot do anything I'm gonna run away Away from here Nobody can stop me
Okay, I can't stay in this palace forever. Tomorrow, I turn 18. I'm all grown up now. I'll escape from this palace and start my own life. Quiet, Lucky. Don't you want to see the world? All right, let's go for freedom. The guards ran after her, but they couldn't catch up with her. The princess's horseback riding skills were no match for them. The princess and the horse ran as fast as they could. Whoa, whoa! Good work, Lucky. Let's rest here for a moment. We're deep in the forest, so I'm sure nobody can find us. Go! Go away! Oh no! I have to help him! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Ah! Goodness! Thank you for saving me. I owe you my life. No problem. But how did you get stuck here alone deep in the forest? Well, I'm a prince from a neighboring kingdom. I came out here to hunt. It was my first time in this part of the forest. So I got lost. And then a bear appeared. So I ran deeper into the woods. Ah, then I'll guide you to the edge of the forest. I just came from that direction. Oh, really? Thank you. I'll never forget this. Anyhow, you were amazing before. How did you get so good at archery? <laughs> Actually, I'm the princess of the kingdom beyond these woods. I was trapped in the palace because of a witch's curse. I had nothing to do in the palace besides practicing archery and horseback riding. A curse? Yes. If I prick my finger on a sewing needle, I will fall asleep forever. But I'm not afraid. I believe that whatever happens, if I stay brave and believe in myself, I can overcome anything. I'm stronger than anybody. The two spent a lot of time talking, and night has fallen. <sighs> what do we do? I think we're going around in circles. You're right. I'm sure it was this direction. Well, it is my first time outside the palace. But at that moment, they saw a bright light from a cabin far away. Oh, what are you two doing so deep in the forest? Come in, come in. It's chilly out there. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. My sight is so blurry. My lady, can you thread the sewing needle for me? After all these years, my eyes are not what they used to be. Uh, sewing needle? What do I do if I prick my finger? Lady, I really can't see well. Please thread this sewing needle for me. Oh my goodness! Princess, are you alright? Princess, open your eyes! <laughs> you fool! Now you shall be asleep forever! <laughs> it turned out that the witch disguised herself as the old lady to trick the princess. <laughs> she is all mine! <laughs> oh no! Princess! The prince was devastated. But at that moment, he remembered what the princess said. I believe that whatever happens, if I stay brave and believe in myself, I can overcome anything. I can't just sit here and be sad. It's my turn to save the princess. I'll be right there, princess. Oh, 
Who dares to attack my castle? I'm not afraid. If I stay brave and believe in myself, I can overcome anything. Oh! Oh! Princess, wake up! Prince. Only a true love's kiss can wake the sleeping princess. A true love's kiss? Oh, Prince? Princess, you're awake. I'm so glad you're okay. Did you wake me up? Yes. When I met you in the forest, I thought to myself, I wish to be with you so you can live a happy life and be free from the curse. Princess, will you marry me? <laughs> yes, I will. So the princess was released from the witch's curse and found her true love. The princess and the brave prince lived happily ever after.